today I joined the legions of people who are PlayStation 4 users. That's right. I went out today after my Japanese language class and I bought myself a PlayStation 4 in anticipation for all the amazing PlayStation exclusive games that are coming out this year. First of which is Digimon Cyber Sleuth, which I will be recording on the channel. Um, so I, I thought, well, I had to get at least one game with it. And the only game I could think of getting was Sora Online Lost Song, which I originally said I was going to record, and then I said I wasn't going to record because I thought it was something impossible to record, something kind of along the lines of Hollow Fragment, which I have not played. This is the only Sword Art Online game that I have actually played. Um, at first I wasn't going to record it, I was just going to enjoy it myself. I got a fair ways into the game, so I can sort of do somewhat of a... Like, I know what I'm doing for like a while, and up to a certain point. But I don't know much past, I don't know anything past then. So I know how to play. So I'm not going to be fumbling around with the controls or doing any tutorials. But uh, but through playing that just off by myself, I realised that this game is recordable. <laughs> like, it makes you think that it goes off on a tangent every now and then, but it's actually quite straightforward. You've just got to find the main story missions to progress the story, which I didn't find too much trouble with. Whether or not I will this time, who knows. But yeah, long story short, I'm recording so Art Online Lost Song with commentary. <laughs> As you can probably tell from the title of this video and the fact that you've been watching it for the past two minutes. Anyway, I'm obviously going to start a new game because there's no... Because why would I actually continue from where I was? That's no good. You start from the beginning. Um, there is one cinematic in the game that I don't think I'll be able to leave in the video because I think it's copyrighted. It's basically like an anime style opening but for the game. It's pretty awesome like if you want to see it I'm sure someone has it up on YouTube but I'm not going to risk putting it up on my channel. The thing about this game is it's like mix between Sort of like visual novel and like like an MMO type type deal. Both of which I pretty much never play. So having them mixed together is uh, yes, it's quite good. I mean, I've enjoyed it from what I've played. Awesome visuals as well. Like I, I was a bit disappointed when. Uh, it went from this to gameplay, but I it was I was expecting it anyway. Good cutscenes though. I'm trying not to talk too much through cutscenes and stuff because obviously you want to hear it as well as see it. But if you want to play through without commentary on, you can find another channel. I'm sure there's loads of them that do it. But with games like this, I think it's a lot better to actually have my own personal touch on it like I'm doing with Digimon because it's good commentating over games that you're doing things you need to talk about it's, it's hard to explain but I, like games like Naruto Storm like that's easy and probably better to record without commentary but uh, yeah I'm gonna stop rambling on now I think this is set after the anime, but there are things in the story that make me think that it's just kind of like, I don't know, um, like kind of like side filler, so I'm not sure where it takes place because some of the characters don't recognize each other who have met in the anime, so I'll point it out once we get to it. I like how it's got its own kind of story arc for the game. I'm sure. I'm. It's if this is a sequel to Hollow Fragment. I'm pretty sure because like there's characters in that that are in this, and you're expected to know them already. 
and for when hollow right hollow realization comes out i'm pretty sure that's going to be kind of like more in hollow fragment style but possibly yeah i think it's more hollow fragment than sort of more than uh this one lost song because it's not alfheim i think it's just uh no it is Al. what is it i can't even remember the name off the top of my health well, not pop my head it's not alfheim it's the other one the original series so anyway, let's get into this I don't know if you can get dub, but I wouldn't want. Well, I definitely wouldn't want to be listening to dub. Like, very annoying. And now that I'm learning Japanese, it's a lot more useful to me being in Japanese. Oglind. They got really complicated and difficult to pronounce names and sort of online. It's based off Norse mythology though, I think, like the world creations and monsters and stuff. Pretty sure it says it in the actual story as well. I don't need a rev I don't need to review because obviously I've played it already. Could use a break from all that uh, tutorial stuff that you didn't do. <laughs> the thing about these videos as well, like. Obviously, I'll still be recording this. Like, I'll, I'll not be finished this by the time Naruto and Digimon come out. So, whether or not I finish this series, I have no idea. But I hope that I can. But no promises. Because Naruto, it takes priority, obviously. And then Digimon, and then this. Even though I've started this first. Three of my favourite anime as well. <laughs> Hope they hurry up with the new season for Sword Art. Looking forward to the new season for Attack on Titan as well, because I read the manga. And there's so much badass shit that's going to happen. I mean, it'll be a bit of a lull when it's the whole human arc. I don't want to spoil it, but there's a lot of sort of like realizations and kind of like plot twists that'll just break your mind. Oh, wait a minute. I think I need to change the screen configuration because the corners of the screen are getting cut off for me. One second. Uh, aspect ratio. There we go, full. You wouldn't have seen what I've just done, but I was obviously in my TV menu. <laughs> Very professional, I should have had that set up already, but I had no clue that that happened. Even though I've been recording like all these other games with it and it seemed fine. Anyway. Oh, I forgot to change the axis, I'm gonna have to But no, I'll I'll just deal with that. I changed it for my other playthrough, but I think it's fine the way it is. Can't be bothered to change it. Just want to get on with the game already. And I'm sure you guys want to see some action as well. There'll be a few of you, a few of you that haven't actually played this game before, like me, who like is primarily an Xbox user. Just now gotten the PlayStation 4 because there's actually games that are coming out now, whereas before there wasn't anything worth getting it for. But yeah, anyway. It's been rambling on and uh, not being paying attention to what they've been talking about. But basically, it's the first island of several, and I need to complete it. 
to move on. And right now I'm travelling to the floating city of Rhine. I think that's how you pronounce it, it's probably not, I'm probably butchering it to be honest. I'm just getting used to the whole pronunciation thing in my class. I'm only like three or four classes in. <laughs> Of course, my years of anime and manga have sort of prepared me. Oh, Zvarat. Svart Alfheim. やっぱり初めての街に降り立つと、ファーチュアルスするよね。宿屋や商店などの基本的な施設はもちろん、酒場や陶器場などもあるようですね。そうだね。後で待ってみるか。I might do that. Just so you know, occasionally say Japanese words as if I'm fluent. <laughs> it's become a bad habit. I say bad. It helps me learn. Also, like, the past couple of videos I've been putting up, I've been getting some comments on them, which is rare for my videos, and I appreciate it. Uh, so if there's any of you watching this who have played this game, let me know. I want to I want to know how many of you, est like, a rough estimate of how many of you actually play it. Like even if there's just two people that say, oh yeah, I'll, I'll play that game, it's pretty good. Like, that'll be enough for me just so I know the game isn't falling on deaf ears. And just so I know to keep try and keep myself from putting my foot in a lot of things by saying things wrong or not knowing what to do. Great. Asuna! I think I prefer her original costume from the first series because she became a bit of a healer, like a healer class in Alfheim. But I preferred it when she was just on the front lines with the rapier skill. Elizabeth looks pretty much the same as she did in the first series. So I got obviously slightly different. She's a Neko now, so... <laughs> Sinon as well, like... She looks good, but I think I prefer Gun Game Online costume. Which you can get in this game, there's actually quite a lot of costumes. Some of them a bit naughty. <laughs> Maybe I'll show them to you later. But... Yeah, you can get a lot of different costumes in this, which is awesome. Of course, with the sort of... Visual novel type scenes like this, they're all in the actual proper costumes. Like those two characters right there, I have no idea who they are, but I'm pretty sure the one on the left is from Hollow Fragment, which is obviously just got a different costume now, she's in Alfheim. And the one on the right, I'm not entirely sure, but I think she's like uh, Yui. The fact that she's actually AI and she's not a real person. That's all I can. All I've been able to make out from about two hours of playing the game beforehand. Also, also Australia is a bit shameless. <laughs> I've uh, noticed from one of the side quests. Klein. A lot of people don't like Klein, but he's one of my favourite characters. He was like the second character we were introduced to, I think. Like, in the original series. Uh, even though he's a bit of a wannabe playboy, like, I find him quite endearing. Digital as well, he's, he's a reliable guy. One of the only black guys you see in the show. They've always got to have one. It'd be better if they had a few more, but... I'm not too hung up on it. See, so far it leads you to believe like this is after the whole anime and everybody's coming back on because there's a massive update. And everyone's back day one because they're obviously the proper gamers. It's what you do though, isn't it, when there's a big update to a game. You want to be there day one. So you can go on the ground floor. Ah. 
Try seeing VR MMO without the uh, like, like seeing the full words for it. I forgot the actual term. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Also, Kuro goes on a bit of a thought thing where he kind of flashbacks in his own head about the actual anime. From the first season, anyway. I don't think he mentions the second. I'm not entirely. He probably does, but not as much. I think she's a treasure hunter or something. I think she was like a. Like a. One of the first beta testers or something. Like, again, like I'm, I'm seeing all this and I haven't a clue because I haven't played Hollow Fragment. So, if any of you have actually played Hollow Fragment, let me know in the comments and actually tell me her backstory because I don't have a clue and I'm not going to play Hollow Fragment. I play Hollow, I Hollow Realization, but not Fragment because. I don't think it's a, I don't like going back to previous games because it's just always a letdown, isn't it? So Asia's gonna open up another store. I'm glad they revived Pina in the show. It's pretty cool. You can get a lot of different characters in this, so I think I'll pick them for the occasion, but obviously I'll have three of them that I'll main, so I can get their levels up. Otherwise, like if I try and use all of them equal, it's I'm never going to get anywhere, because I need to do quite a bit of leveling at a few stages. Like the first big boss, like the first stage boss, like we're on the first, like the it's kind of the first island, the first island's big boss is pretty fucking OP. Like, it took me a while to beat him, and like, I'd never needed to use any of my potions or items before then. But I used them all <laughs> on there. And I'm glad I picked a good team for that match. And you see that little notification? That's why I cannot actually show that, intro, that anime style intro because it pretty much tells you it's going to be copyrighted so it's not worth the hassle although it is awesome so you should look it up if if you can i'm just gonna kind of like skip a bit through these flashback things because i already know all this shit i'm not interested in the anime story because i've watched the anime and i know it i want to know all this non-canon game stuff it's new to me. It's weird because Kayab Kayaba is like the main the main antagonist and the bad guy in the first series. Yeah, by the end of the sh end of the show, you're thinking he's a good guy, and it's quite twisted because he led a lot of kids to their death. Yeah, I can't help but feeling he's a bit of a bad <laughs> a bit of a badass. I mean, he did see a Kuro like more than once. Right, let's get started already. Oh, Kirito. If you're fluent in Japanese and you can actually tell that I'm skipping the ends of the conversations off, it's just because it takes quite a lot of time up. Most people are just going to be actually reading the subtitles anyway, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. Hmm, I wonder who I'll choose for the initial party for the first dungeon. Oh wait, yeah, he chooses for you, doesn't he? 
窓やグリーンカムビ金環のオンドリテーでできますよ早速行ってみましょう The crown the rooster is our home away from home ここでパーティー編成ができるんだなはい編成できるのは1名から3名までです I think these episodes will be quite long <laughs> it's a long game and there's a lot of fluff. Like, it's been over 20 minutes already, and I still haven't had an actual battle yet. Alright, so one of those are gonna get left out of the initial party. And unfortunately, I think it's gonna be. Sinon. Because I definitely want to get Kuito leveled up as my one of my mains, and Asuna and Leafa are my two favorite females. So let's quickly edit the party. Kuito with partner one, obviously Asuna, the girlfriend. I like how they'll start at level 100 as well, like to sort of like acknowledge the fact that they are OP going into this game. Then again, Leafa shouldn't be 100 unless she did a lot of. A lot of grinding in order to get up to everybody else's level, but yeah. Sorry, Sinon, but I'll I'll use you later. But right now, for the initial quest, I think this is a good team to have. Let's get through all these little tutorial things. Um, I'm right here. You can change equipment and costumes and skills. But I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to wait a bit. Maybe showcase them all later. Give you a look at all the bit of the scandalous sort of costumes. Storage. Um, gallery is that painting over there. And you can save by going on the bed. So I think that is it for the first episode, guys. Smash. Smash. Smash that like button if you are hyped for this new series. Hopefully I will get it completed at some point and keep it going even though I'm going to be kind of laid down with shit tons of recording to do over the next couple months in fact. Thankfully I've got two weeks of holidays off from work. This has been the first week so I'm going to get as much recording done as I can as well as do the that, do... Well, I'm, I'm not going to mention the other thing I'm doing because it's a bit of a spoiler. But yeah, until the next video, guys, peace.